Brain Cake is a delicious, sweet nourishment created by combining two or more brain cakes. So good and tasty, man. So good and tasty. Welcome back to the Brain Cake Laboratory. My name is Kiwi. I'm with two lovely fellows today. Mm. Well, who are you guys, man? I, I just woke up here and you guys were here <laughs> sitting at this table. Well, you know me. I'm Jimothy. I'm the lovely, the one and only Jimothy. What? I don't exist on social media anymore, as you may have heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that guy. I used to, artist formerly known as Jimothy. You to, don't really exist at all. Not anymore. Yeah. To no fault of your own, really. No fault of my own. But it's okay. I don't want to be there anymore anyway. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, if life could deal you any hand of cards, um, taking away your social media is probably a, like good hand of cards to be dealt. Yeah. But enough about me. There's Broxilla. Yep. He's in the house as well. <laughs> I'm just some shithead over here. Yeah. Dude, you're, the, you're my favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pledging favoritism right now amongst Brain Cake. Wow. I own Brock. He's my favorite. I mean, are, is that going to cause dissent amongst it, our no. crew? He's just my personal strongest Pokemon card. Like, you know. That's yeah. Fair. I toss him like, yeah, but how? What about Jeremy, man? You just you just did a, a show with Jer, man. I mean, and you're going to fucking just smack him in the face like that? I'm back not to back? No, man. dude, I'm not smacking him in the face. What do you think? Handbone, hey, he might be, be but, feeling smacked in the face, gun boy. He might yeah. be feeling smacked in the face. Well, yeah, dude. Let's not, let's not take it there, man. Why'd you have to fucking pledge favoritism? Now right we got to choose. In fact, I mean, in I, fact, I was in fact what the fuck do I think, dude? I was what just, the fuck? Yeah. All, all these shows that we've did together, does that mean nothing to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't get to see this man a whole lot on this show. Yeah, Brock is a lovely song. You and I, as Jer's, uh, Jer keeps up with... Uh, I guess appearances and whatnot of these shows. And apparently you and I have a round number of 68 even each. Hell yeah. Who? Me and you? Me and you. Out of, I think, 80 all together now. We, we did 68? Yeah. God damn it. Why couldn't we just hold out and mention it one more show that we had and we could mention it us having 69 shows apiece? I mean, you well, could just mention it again. We yeah. owe the audience. <laughs> yeah. We owe the audience one. Yeah. That's what it is. Isn't that, that the old joke? That's what 68 is. It's just it's just a 69, but I owe you one. Right. It's some stupid, <laughs> dumbass joke that doesn't right. even make sense. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. How, how do you owe a 69, though? You can't, How do you do that? You just Are you just laying there or something, and they're just like I, in that position doing whatever? I think that whatever? means you're just not going to, you're not going to give them any. You're just going to allow them to do you. Well, then that's <laughs> just head or something. Is that what people say when they say you do you? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you show me yours and I show you mine? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens in like fourth grade, not with a consenting adult. Never. Actually, I don't know. That didn't happen to me in fourth grade. I actually have yeah. no factual foundation. I don't think that's ever happened to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is I think it should be based in innocence. You show me yours, I show you Oh, yours. yeah, that's just like a, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. E exploration, not not. Sexualize yeah. it. Sure, it's innocent sometimes. But, but, you know, in adulthood, we also do that. Yeah, sure. well, but, you know, it's usually like foreplay or something. Probably. Just don't word it that way, though, either. Yeah. yeah. But only once, because once you've shown it to each other, it's like it's been shown. You don't show it. That's true. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's still fun, though. Still fun. Every pretty much, you know, that's one thing that's pretty consistent. <laughs> sex right? is pretty for males. Right. <laughs> for well, males, yeah. sex is pretty consistent. You got to make it. You got to make it consistent and fun. Yeah, I guess for females, just take pills first. It's a little more difficult, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's actually what we're gonna be doing next show. We're out as we're all gonna take Viagra before the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's I think so. Wait, I think that would be ideal. Because just, so we can just sit around hard for no reason. So we can go hard as fuck, man, the whole time. <laughs> so we can go hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go hard. No, I don't actually. Your whole body will stiffen up. Like <laughs> I'll be tense as hell. <laughs> I don't want to be tense. Maybe we need to do it just as an experiment, though. We're gonna maybe, be sore the next day. Maybe oh. <laughs> there are extra like mental benefits to, to taking Viagra. Yeah. Are we gonna chug it with like Red Bull? 
Like we're going to take them with Red Bull? Red Bull and Xanax. <laughs> Xanax? Yeah. Viagra, Red Bull, and Xanax. It's probably going to be the last show, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for some of us, Actually, some of us might be okay. You think so? The Xanax might just, like, cancel both of those out, so it might just be a normal show. True. Sure. Because you got the two uppers and then you got the zans to bring it down i mean one of us might be allergic i've never tried either of those things so yeah so that could be real interesting yeah it doesn't i don't know probably done it before that's just a thursday for samson yeah that's an everyday for samson hell yeah <laughs> what yeah. you fucker do baby I don't think Samson uses Viagra. I think he uses like that bull fucking like a uh, gas station. He jerks dick bulls pills. off. Baby, yeah. one time <laughs> yeah. himself. One time, baby, I snorted in Viagra. Snorted I Viagra. ain't never took it to get hard, baby. I tried to snort it to see if I can get hard. You don't need it to get hard, do you? Yeah. No. I just got a really bad headache, baby, and a big old bone, baby. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> No, I couldn't do anything with it, baby, because I had yeast infection on my, on my packet. How'd you get that? Well. Sleeping with dirty butt girls? <laughs> dirty no. butt girls. Baby, Been running actually, around. Baby, actually, when I kind of did a bit too much crack one night at a party. And, yeah. And a, a, like a goat got involved, baby, and a dog. And then I just, the goat? I just, I can't talk about it legally, baby, because it's still, it's binding. You're talking about drug use, though. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? Illegal Samson? drugs. But that's so normalized <laughs> to him that it's... He doesn't even... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's not even... My baby, yes, now I got that yeast infection on my back. I think that's what happened. From them dirty butt girls? I was that and some, and some, and some animal foreplay. play. <laughs> oh, my God, Samson. You know, I was actually genuinely going to ask you, like, hey, how you been, Samson? Because, like... You know, you came on here and you were initially pretty mild, but then you Im- Mostly, immediately yeah. go to yeah. bestiality. So, but baby, I was in I got mean to do it, baby. Well, I'm immediately reminded as to why you don't need to be on this show. So. Yeah, we pulled out pretty quick there. Yeah, baby, now, nah, baby, now, nah, I, I just said that I made some yay, baby. I just want to make you <laughs> I didn't even understand what, what you what said. Happened? <laughs> what happened there? I want some Xanax, baby. No, yeah, some mayonnaise? You want some mayonnaise? <laughs> some Xanax, <laughs> god damn it, baby. You want some some goody powders for your headache? Yeah, yeah. I want Xanax to get high. I didn't know those existed for a long time, by the way. I think they're bullshit. I think you should just take, like, you know, a Tylenol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Why do you need a fucking gimmick? Or the ones, you know, there's the ones that's like caffeine, so just take a Mido. I think that's pretty much what Mido is. <laughs> it's like Tylenol. Yeah, yeah. Some caffeine. Yeah. Yeah, I see the manifin shit. Samson, what what is what is your favorite methodology yeah. to remove a headache? <laughs> <laughs> Just to knock your fucking self out of conscious existence yeah, in general. I will, baby. I I go down the dance store, baby. Baby, baby, to beat you, baby. So pizza. <laughs> Some fucking pizza rolls. <laughs> what kind do you get? Just pepperoni or supreme? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Maybe three cheese. You know, the cheese ones are kind of disappointing. You kind of want something. You know? Three cheese is actually good for enhanced sex drive. <laughs> Especially if you put some horny goat weed in each one. Yeah. Some macaroot. Yeah. These are the newest nootropics. <laughs> oh Pizza God. rolls are great if in many ways. They're just a, a vehicle, really. Yeah. But baby, to answer your question, when I go to the bitch to buy whatever one they have in stock. <laughs> As long as I'm taking so that by the time I get my check, baby. So it's probably, Samson don't know. Yeah, it's just more about taking your mind off of it, right? Like, it's it's not so much that the pizza rolls directly remove the headache. It's the <laughs> process of taking them out of the box, putting them in the microwave. I bet it tastes pretty good, because that's usually why I have a headache, baby, because I ain't eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the mess bench for a few days, baby. I ain't eating, I ain't eating days, baby, and I ain't sleeping every week. Samson takes gas eggs for his headaches. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Because maybe he can't I read. He I doesn't I know what it says on there. That hoop gay. He doesn't know what that feels for. Wow. That's like amazing placebo effect. If yeah. you can't read, yeah. you could just need somebody to give you yeah. pills. You can just take any pill and feel like. He's walking around taking Beano. Yeah, and it's working <laughs> yeah. because he thinks foot it's foot pain. His foot's hurting. <laughs> baby, yeah. ever said Beano up your ass? Baby, yeah. you ever moved Beano? <laughs> Never boof isn't Beano, that, isn't baby. that what they talk about in the Sandlot? The great boof Beano? <laughs> that's great man Beano, baby. That's Babe Ruth, baby. <laughs> boof that's Beano. Agent, that's the agent name of baseball he player, boofed, Babe Ruth. Baby. He boofed a whole baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, that's why they called him that. Yeah. Baby Babe Ruth was Full the first. Heroin. Baby Babe Ruth was the first baseball player to ever have a voice box, baby. <laughs> Thank you for that fun fact. <laughs> a voice box? That's for real, baby. Yeah, baby. What are you talking about? Because he had one of them, he had one of them cool dope box. That he was like a robot. Man. Oh, from smoking? <laughs> from, what do they call that? Cigars? Of it. Yeah, he, he smoked about last guy, baby, and he became a robot, baby, and that's pretty cool. I wonder if you, I wonder if you do that now, if you can you know, smack, baby, your veins Sam- turn like Iron Man, baby. Samson, did you know that Stephen Hawking... It was from the future. That's why he sounded the way he did. Baby, do you know Steve jumped off a ladder and elephant shit once, baby? <laughs> <laughs> How much elephant shit? Hey, baby, he's like a little kitty poo poo. Oh, so they gathered elephant shit and filled a kitty pool with it. Yeah, baby, and there was like maggots and shit in it, baby. And Steve O said, woohoo. You know, what a wonderful thing humanity does with their life. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad that there are people who can literally make their life's legacy and financial gain from yeah. jumping into elephant shit. <laughs> who, who, Who's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go, I got a plan. <laughs> that truly is the American dream. <laughs> I got a plan to make some money. Yeah. I'm going to go dive into some sewage. I'm quitting my job. Yeah. <laughs> and... I'm going to have my friends film me jumping into some elephant shit. Yeah. I'm going to get a good bunch of my friends to come over and kick me in the nuts over and over. <laughs> and then, but they're going to do it with different types of shoes. <laughs> one's going to put on sneakers, and one's going to put on steel toed boots. Another one's like, going to yeah. put on cleats. And you're going to do oh. like a test? Like yeah. a test run? We're, we're, yeah. Yeah. We're going to see how much your balls can take a beating of different You've got to get, different... get a barefoot one. I think you can oh. find the answers to that on Pornhub, probably. Bear That's nut. probably happened, yeah. Yeah. Bear nuts on bear balls. God damn, dude. You ever see those videos of chicks just kicking dudes in the bear balls? Yeah. Usually not. Those oh, my pretty God. pretty awesome, man. Kiwi, can you remember many years ago, like, when shock content was popular? Yeah. That was one of the very first ones I think we had found. You may not have. It may have been something I'd found, then we saw it later. It could have been like one from those, like maybe a prison or something, mm-hmm. but they had the, <laughs> actually, I think it's just a really fucking wild porn because <laughs> they had a leash around his balls and they were tugging him Hell really yeah. hard and they were just like, oh. punt, like straight punching the fuck out of as hard as they could. Oh his and balls? Straight like his kicking. Throat? Yeah. His balls and like just straight kicking them with these high heels and stomping yeah. them. Yeah. Like they're stomping his balls while he's laying on the ground. Like, patom, patom. you can see their fucking heel of their high heel, like stomping oh, right yeah. into it. And you can f- see it like squish. Oh boom, my boom, god! Boom. Fuck yeah! God damn! Does like he does he bleed from all that? No, like it's just bleed. like you can yeah. see him like fucking swell on the fuck up though, and it's like getting blue and black. Like there really needs to be a follow up with that. Like they're missing out on more good content. Why not follow up with that guy the next day and like see what his I boss felt. Like. I wonder how much he got paid. Probably not enough. For but that. he liked it. I mean how much would be enough for that? To get kicked in the balls and punched in the balls mercilessly. A lot. <laughs> a lot. For people's sexual pleasure. Dude they could, sh- they could put that in the same category as like what is it 127 hours? I don't, what is that? Is that the the, the rock climber or something oh no that's a different one is right. it the rock climber that like cuts his arm off or something so he can... yeah it's something like that <laughs> that's horrible to me i don't know the number i guess they're nothing them. comparable other than they're like i don't even fucking know where i was going with that that's awful <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> so <laughs> so you just made fun of a man without an arm no, for the sake of, of nothing 
No, no, I wasn't. No, I was trying to make some sort of fucking comparison. Oh, but now I don't remember what the fuck it is, and now it's like, well, kapoink. Well, you know what? This is probably a great time to go to some of the videos we have to watch today. I oh. would be honored to have some videos be yeah. thrown in my face. How about you, Brockola? I'll take one. Just take one. I'll take a I'll couple. Take one to the head. <laughs> I mean, the one we got here to start with is a pretty good one. It's already here for the taking, so I would love to watch a video titled Watch Spider-Man Make an Epic Kids Party Fail When He Knocks Himself Out Doing a Backflip in Argentina. Ah, Argentina. <laughs> what a detailed like YouTube title. I mean, we how don't we, even really need to watch it. Yeah, I mean, we know how else what would, We're done. I mean, how else would you know? <laughs> we're done here. How else would you know this is the right one? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that's true. There's plenty of videos of Spider-Man <laughs> knocking himself out at kids' parties. <laughs> They're gonna be a dime a dozen. Yeah. All right. Let's check this shit out. This is such a happy party. Yeah. Where's the birthday boy? I wonder. Oh <laughs> my. Uh, hell yeah, dude. He's fist bumping the kids. Fuck yeah, dude. He's a... Wow! Wow, man. Fuck he it. did one successfully. He should have left it there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome backflip. He pushed the ante too far. Oh! Oh, Oh my shit. goodness. That was an off-the-wall flip Ola. Spider-Man's fucking killing the game, Listen, dude. This is number three, though, right here. Yeah, third time's the charm. Oh, shit, man. He, it. I think he's got to get an assistant. Oh. <laughs> so why pick... The, why is he limping? <laughs> Is he all right? The kid just limped all the way up there. Well. Oh, my. <laughs> He's dead. <God> damn. <laughs> I mean, he is fucking crumpled. And that's my favorite part, is just looking at his body. It looks like in the UFC games when you knock... <laughs> it looks like Green Goblin knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> I love that the kids are laughing at him, too. Yeah, they think it's just part of it. <laughs> the, like the purity of it all. <laughs> yeah, they just he just patted his hand. Well, <laughs> yeah, he, just he's out. he lost. <laughs> Fucking kid this walks up and <laughs> kicks Spider. Just nudges Spider Man. Oh, we get a slow motion. Oh version. yes, please. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> wow, what oh. a fu honestly though, like oh. the man's life anyway. He's he's dressing up as Spider Man at children's birthday parties, like that in itself is a that's little fair. That's fair, yeah. I mean, that's not something you really wanna like, you know, go back to your high school reunion and say that you do for a living. Some people might like <laughs> that it. Though. Probably the last show he ever done. <laughs> He probably never could show his face ever again at kids' parties. He's like, man, I fucking bombed and knocked myself unconscious at a kids' party. I'd just be glad to know that he can eat solid food still. <laughs> yeah. I'd be surprised if he could feel his feet. He like, a, pretty significant. Yeah. I mean, he was knocked the fuck out. There's no doubt about that. His body was crumpled. Referee and boxing would have counted way beyond 10. They would have had the EMTs already <laughs> in the ring trying to freaking, like, if they better get the flashlight in front of his eyes, waving it back and forth. It's but like, you couldn't see his eyes because he's Spider Man. <laughs> you can't take the suit off because it would spoil it for the children. They would probably just hear snoring through the mask. Yeah. That, that kid walking up and, like, nudging his, like, knocked out corpse. Mm -hmm. His hand with his foot. Like, that was just, that's like something a family guy character would do, I feel like, when somebody gets knocked out. Man, that, that reminds Making me. Making sure they're out. Yeah. That reminds me once, I, whenever um, I had an uncle who died, and mm. there was this little what kid. What a funny story you're, you're going <laughs> right. to spew to us right now. Right, right. This, this is an uplifting that's... story for everyone. <laughs> so, so when, so when I, I had an uncle who passed away several years back. And um, I guess immediate family was nearby, just kind of, I guess, yeah, grieving together and just, you know, being together. So, naturally, mm -hmm. kids are going to be around. So, there's this kid comes up. It's like seven or eight or something. Walks around, looks, and he's like, yep. 
When we went in there, he was dead. He said, yep, he was cold. That's how you know they're dead. <laughs> Damn. How many dead bodies did this kid found? <laughs> That's right. Like, were they dead when he found them, yeah. though? And, like, and meanwhile, he's saying this in front of... Grieving family His members. brother. <laughs> yeah, his his... Like my uncle's brother, so it was his, you know. Yeah. Well, he's just letting you know. You know, my other uncle, like, pretty much. He was just comforting everybody and saying, like, we're not burying a live man here. He was <laughs> definitely dead. You like, know, it just, is important to know that. Yeah. At a funeral that thanks. the person's dead. Already. You should have thanked him. You should have said, yeah. hey, little boy, thanks. Thanks. Thank you and your premonition skills. You know, you would go great in a psych unit, <laughs> like a psychic unit, and like a police task force or some <laughs> shit. I don't Maybe know. Maybe both. Yeah. yeah, either one. What is that one job where you pronounce people dead? Is that like a coroner? Yeah. Or something like that? Let's get that kid into coroner. Is that like they school. don't know how to say dead, so you pronounce it for them? You're like dead, and then they know how to say it? I, I didn't know how to say dead until you told me. <laughs> Thank they, you so much. They pronounce you dead, so you... Oh, yeah. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, they do pronounce you dead, and it takes a very special person to pronounce you dead. It does. You know, and I think that kid is that special person. You're not really dead until they they let you know that you're dead. Yeah. So I hope whenever I die, don't call the coroner. Don't let it. Yeah, you'll live forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're not declared dead, who? You're just in purgatory at that yeah, point. You're yeah. not dead. Maybe that's how. Maybe that's the key, man. Maybe we, if we hadn't started a, as a position of coroners. Maybe we could have just avoided this whole death shit entirely. Yeah. We oh. could have just passed away instead. That's the yeah. key to death, man. We talked about it many episodes back. How many people did we say have come and gone on this planet? Is it like 104 billion? Yeah, a lot. Or 114 billion. There's like, what, 7.5 billion or something like that on yeah. this planet? Odds ain't looking too good about that death shit. Well, to be <laughs> fair, coroners have only been around for like 3% of all that time period that humans have died. Well, they, I guess they... That's it, true, too. What happened to all they these exist. people? Yeah. I think they they only exist because like they were burying people alive sometimes. <laughs> I think that's were, why we yeah. have them. Yeah, that's why they started putting those little bells, right. like bell systems inside of caskets and stuff. I don't even think they do that anymore. No, because they rely on the coroner. Yeah. Well, not just that, too. I mean, I guess medical science probably is just... Yeah. I guess they they can they they pretty they can pretty well determine if you're dead or not well before you ever <laughs> pretty, go to it. Yeah, pretty easily. It's like you know heartbeat. Do you have a heartbeat? <laughs> In case you're the uh, the puffer fish lover. Do you <coughs> puffer fish lover? Yeah. What is that? Like some people have like fucking eaten puffer fish and like get the toxins in them from it. And they go into a coma and they're declared dead, but they have been woken up in the casket. Oh, Fuck my yeah, God. Man. <coughs> you know that what? I just wish that would happen to me. Imagine how terrified everybody would be. I'm at, they wouldn't even be happy at first. How confused They'd and be terrified. panicked as fuck. Right? What about you waking up in a casket? <laughs> You're underground. Yeah. I feel like it would be easier for you to grasp than it would be them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, yeah, that's true. Because they've already like accepted that you're dead. Yeah, you're just like you. It was dark, and then now you're in a church, <laughs> yeah. and everyone's sad. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's sad. Yeah, but that's like, I mean, just imagine you. Well, he, you're just eating dinner. You're eating that fucking. I don't know where you get puffer fish. Uh, Red Lobster. Let's say you sure, eat it. sure. <laughs> Red Lobster. Red Lobster. And you're eating. And then all of a sudden you start feeling a little queasy. Things go black. You're in a coma. And then you wake mm -hmm. up and you're in a casket at a funeral home. First thing you hear, waking up from consciousness, obviously of multiple days of being out of it, is like funeral parlor music. And Weeping widows. Oh my. Widows. Dude, that would be fucking. Right? That's a nightmare. Honestly, that's a nightmare. 
I no. wonder if it's happened to the same person more than once. They're like, oh, shit. But <laughs> I did it again. Now that. Must have did it again. <laughs> it's shucks. And then they want to eat the shit again. And his wife's like, no, you're not. Yeah, you remember gotta, what happened last time, right? There's got to be a puffer fish lover out there, man. That like That's just like, that's his favorite dish. Yeah, he's like, I don't care. Yeah. It takes like, me out. If it, I mean, he's been taken out by it before. Yeah. But yeah. he keeps coming back for more. Yeah. He's a glutton for punishment. He's a glutton for puffer fish. How good is it, though? And and then I don't know, isn't it? I I thought it was a Japanese dish. It's probably not that good. Probably not. It's I mean, probably just the danger of it. Yeah. You know? But you know. But it, that's why the guy likes it, and that's why he fucking, keeps going back to it, even though he wakes up in the funeral home every time he eats it. That's true. But isn't it a macabre thing that people have wanted to do anyway? Is to like, don't they wonder what what it would be like to see their own funeral? Yeah. These people would actually be living their own funeral and come to life out of it. And if they're freed from that casket, they actually got it. Yeah. That's a rare case of somebody actually receiving the opportunity of seeing what their own fucking funeral felt like to a portion. Yeah. If you're waking up to people crying in the audience, you fucking pop out that motherfucker. You're like, yeah. <laughs> would you I ever, lie, dude? Man. I, you have. You to, probably wouldn't dude, be that ecstatic, though. You'd probably be like, freak the fuck out, like, whoa! Yeah. If you don't rise up like the Undertaker oh, <laughs> from your fucking and then choke slam your grandma, <laughs> and then like hop out of it HBK style. Like, you gotta do a kip up out of the <laughs> casket. Yeah, <laughs> flex. <laughs> I gotta stretch and flex after my kip up out of the casket. <laughs> It'd be great. <laughs> Do the DX thing. Yeah. Break it down. Like the ground. Ground. Suck yeah. it. I just have the whole I have the whole fucking funeral home sucking it. Give a big yeah. boot to the preacher. Yeah. <laughs> Did I give a choke slam to their tombstone to the preacher? There you go. Oh shit. Fuck. And give a And stunt. then put him in the casket. Yeah. And then everybody buries him and they cheer. <laughs> then I then I'll take the fucking it was uh, him or you. Yeah. It was that was the battle, man. Well, then I'll take the the fucking organ player and just give him a stunner and put him in the sharpshooter. Yep. Fuck That'll yeah. be what we do. But I'll have them like slamming their hands on the keys while I've got them in the sharpshooter. So they're still playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're just like squealing. That's their duty, man. But the preacher's, you know, he's like. Why is everybody just letting this happen? <laughs> They're mortified that a <laughs> fucking person just came yeah. out of the gas. I mean, that's the one time him. you can do it. Would you try and fight them, though, you know? <laughs> you it, can. As far as these people are concerned, man, you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. fucking dead. This is a zombie that's come <laughs> up and fucked up this preacher and this organ player and the and the choir and everybody <laughs> else. Yeah. They didn't just get up. They, they kept up out of the <laughs> He kept up like he was A-OK. Like he wasn't even dead. That's the worst part oh. about it. He kept up like he wasn't even dead. Like he'd been <laughs> he alive the whole time. And then he flexed on us. He yeah. flexed. Yeah, he stretched and flexed, dude. Yeah. And within like, you know, the 10 minute period after you, what is it called? Kip? Kip up? Kip up. After yeah. you kip up out of your own casket, there's like a 10 minute period where you can do anything and get away yeah. with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the shock value is through the roof. You could pee in somebody's eye if you want. <laughs> yeah. To. I was actually going to say earlier, like maybe instead of all that, you just rise up from the casket, you, you take a piss, and then you get back into you the just casket. Lay back down. <laughs> you just feel like, hang on, I got to go to, piss, guys. <laughs> Tell them to turn the lights off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like just like a really drunk guy. Yeah, why are y'all in my room? <laughs> Rude as fuck that my whole family came. Yeah. The church is full of nothing but gasps. As you just see this dude just kip up out of a casket with like, man, we can come back to this in just a second. Where's the bathroom at please? I gotta go take a piss. I gotta piss before I go to this eternal sleep. Holy shit. uh how does that work when you're like in a coma? Does your bodily functions just like not really get probably catheter you or something? Yeah, I'm pretty. I mean, I guess this is assuming people are in hospitals. I'm. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think people are just chilling in comas at home, are they? <laughs> Most of the time, not. Probably. Is that a thing? Do people are people trusted to have like? I've seen that some. What is a gag in television shows before? But is that a thing? Sometimes I think it does happen. Yeah, I mean, not necessarily a coma, but like. You know, like in a, I guess, what a, a Look, vegetative state. God well, damn it. Uh, Randy from My Name is Earl took Earl home when he was in a coma. If he can do it, anybody can. That's real, man. That's, so, I mean, if it yeah, happened on that. That's there, right. And <laughs> yeah. he's a dumbass, and he was able to take him home. <laughs> yeah, so it should be fine. Yeah. That, that is a great show. 
I love that show. It didn't get its just due by getting the finish out. Uh, yeah, man, that fucking sucks. Because really, it just ends uh, pretty abruptly. much. Yeah, and on a cliffhanger too. A hell of a cliffhanger, as far as I could remember. Was I feel like? Uh, I guess uh, like there's Earl's a lot. Ex-wife of, was pregnant again. Yeah, but it wasn't. Uh, Crab man. Crab man. Yeah. Well, the whole thing with crab man is just nuts all on its own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the witness protection. Crab man. Crab man's just like cruising until the fourth season or something. And then they're like, oh, yeah, he's everything actually a goes, superhero. Everything goes life. haywire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, we got to move and protect our kids. <laughs> the FBI is going to kill us or whatever the fuck he is. To, uh, to anyone who doesn't know this show, I feel like the description we've gave it already just. Like is is pretty strange, like a character named Crab Man who was in the witness protection yeah. program, and something about a guy named Earl whose ex wife isn't pregnant. Yeah, and on the, and the only other thing about Earl that I've given as context clues is that he was in a coma, taken home by his brother. <laughs> yeah, who, who was alluded to as being a dumbass. Yeah, we should just continue on and like pretend it's like a drama show and not a comedy. It is but a drama I mean, show. like it's it kind of. It has emotional it, moments. It does. It's a mix it does of some emotional moments. The concept of it, though, I mean, like, yeah, if it's a show you never watched, it is definitely something I feel like you should go back and try to find it and just watch what four seasons that do exist of it because the concept of it was so good. Yeah. You know, just a man who feels like he's got to correct his life, and the only way to do that is to correct every person he's ever wronged or something like that. Yeah. So he made a, a list of his karma list pretty much. So he like of everything he'd ever done wrong to somebody, yep. or anything he'd ever stole, whatever, and to make amends for it. And each episode was based around something on his list. Yeah, I mean, like that, that's a pretty fucking good concept. You can stretch yeah. that out forever. I feel like yeah, they stretched it out farther than I could have, and in a good way too. Yeah. Like every episode was good and mm-hmm. fresh and interesting, and like there was that one kid who he like. What was it? God's little finger. God's, God's little, little finger says hell. Yeah, I don't remember like what he did to him though. I think he made him think he was like he able to heal people. Yeah, he helped participate in helping him make him think he could heal people because, uh, or well, like somebody with him. I feel like, yeah. I guess had an issue too. They took him with. It's like oh, it worked for him, so placebo worked for them. Yeah, oh. and then I think in the end, like he ends up having to like know that he's not really like faith healing people i mm-hmm. guess i don't know why that was the one episode i went for hell but. dude there was quite a few sad episodes too like there was one with that uh seth green oh yeah do you remember those episodes were like have seth green or something yeah and yeah. he passes away pretty much by the end of the second episode god damn yeah yeah like he would storm off but like every time he was storming off he was storming off just so he could go get his like treatments or whatever yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like it's oh, yeah, it's yeah. pretty emotional. Like it was a two part episode. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen it. I don't, I don't remember the that of, part. That's the type of thing I guess like you never know what anybody's actually going through. Yeah. You know, like you never know why somebody's storming off what actually is going on, you know. Um and then there are other things completely to contrast episodes like they're they're like two whole episodes dedicated to just parroting cops oh yeah those are great with all the characters on the show (laughs) yeah i would i would highly suggest that show to anybody it's underrated for sure it's one of the only it's one of the only shows i have like physical copies of every season yeah oh shit you know what speaking of cops (laughs) <laughs> we, oh we, nice we had a oblivion npc dialogue i'm excited for this here. i guess this is i mean i don't know i don't know anything about it brock is the one who uh suggested it for us here if you've never heard of oblivion npc videos they are wonderful if you've ever played oblivion skyrim or any of those types of like elder scroll games this music would be all too familiar to you it's just applied to these, you know, just random YouTube videos. And just, it's the greatest thing ever. Because there are definitely people in real life who behave like NPCs definitely. in, in yeah. video games. And it's like, why, though? What? You don't have to. Because <laughs> their brains are 
on autopilot, most of them. I have to be. Let's see. Let's see what's up with this dude. Who are you? So is this a cop? Detective Mike Jardine. Oh. oh yeah. That's Detective Mike Jardine, motherfucker. What are you working on? <laughs> okay. What are you working on right now? Several cases. Okay. <laughs> what, what is this about? Are you working on something right now? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, what are you working on? <laughs> What the? What I mean, <laughs> what the? It doesn't matter what I'm working on. I'm asking you, what are you doing here, taking pictures? Where have you, uh, where have you been today? Have you been here all day? <laughs> Who or the? Have f- you been out and about a little bit? <laughs> what are you, who are you? I'm, I'm asking the questions. Where have you been today? <laughs> have you been here? I'm asking the questions. You're on Ooh. this property. This is a struggle of who's you're, asking you're the questions. Property, yeah. So you need to ask, answer my questions. Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you slurring your words today? <laughs> What's your name? Like, that's troll level 100. How the fuck does this guy have this kind of balls to just walk up to right? a cop on his own turf and start talking this shit? Yeah, just talking real shit to him. <laughs> this is the definition of big dick energy right here. <laughs> yes! Man, so, get out of here right now. Or what? Or what? You're, you're on <laughs> my you're property. On this isn't your yeah, property. Yeah, shut the hell up. Get out of here now. What did you say? I said shut up and get out no, of here. No, you get out of here now. Hey, you, better get, you better get your boy. Get your butt back in your office you and do your up. job. You shut up and get you out You get your butt back in your office and do your job. <laughs> what the? Oh, no, here comes a friend. You quit drinking on the job. You understand me? <laughs> you punk ass. You punk ass. Oh, shit. You're about a stupid motherfucker, aren't you? <laughs> you get your ass back in there. You don't look back here again. <laughs> wow. Well. Excellent job to the officer that called Mike off. Mike, you might want to thank him. Oh my god, me. dude. God damn, he he <laughs> I mean his his uh that his method was effective, right? <laughs> I think he was right. If like, that was a Pokemon move, <laughs> like it was effective. It's extremely effective. That Shame. was a one hit. Yeah. Do you think the man was drinking on the job? I feel like he might have been or he has. He might have been. Though there are also a lot of crazy people who have access to cameras and just walk up to people and do stuff like this. All so. the time. But yeah. I feel like the, I feel like this cop. I feel like he may have uh have been overstepping. Well, he might have been. Um what was that? God damn it! I had something I was gonna say about this. Well, I think the dude <laughs> you filming. Shut the, you shut the hell up. <laughs> oh. I think the dude filming is also a cop. Oh, really? I, that's the uh, what I get oh, about it. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that changes things entirely. Well, oh, I know what I was gonna say. He was just like he's just straight up talking to him like the way you shit talk on Call of Duty or something. Yeah, or like, like maybe internal affairs or something like that. Yeah. You know, it's not like when Boogie shot at Frank Castle and said, "Keep walking, pussy." <laughs> <laughs> You've already fired the gun. Keep walking, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> this comp, the top comment, this dude quick saved and started picking all the aggressive dialogue <laughs> options. <laughs> I'm glad that's not just like a like a a, a small minority of people that does that. <laughs> like you'll do you'll do some <laughs> options on like say probably Mass Effect or something that's choice based. And you just don't save it. You just like want to fucking pick the options <laughs> you want to do, and then see what happens if you pick mm-hmm. something else. GTA Five was like that. I like those kind of games. Oh yeah, the Witcher games are good for that. Yeah, and then you got like other shit, like uh, like the Telltale games. Like if yeah. you just want to completely ditch. Every... That's a great. That's actually the best example. Yeah. Yeah. If you just want to ditch every other element of a game and just yeah, that's literally whole thing. Yeah. like just play a movie <laughs> where you get to make the decisions, yeah, that's the way to go. Walking Dead, A Wolf Among Us. Uh, uh there fuck. There's another one. There's Game of Thrones. There's is it Paw Patrol. There's Paw Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Paw Patrol Telltale. It's tell something about controlling yeah. time, whatever it is I'm thinking of. That's actually made by I thought Square that, Enix. Oh, I thought that was a Telltale game. Um, or whatever. I can't remember the name of it, though. But, it, yeah, see, that's a great one, too. I love those kind of games. Um, let's see. We have another Oblivion NPC dialogue. We might, might as well. Yes. Um. <laughs> it's, it's, it says Skuma Addict, hosed down by local mage. <laughs> let's, okay, so let's see if this guy is effective. 
you if you come over here. <laughs> I can spray you right now. You better turn around. Why would you hurt me? I'm not hurting you. It's water. See? <laughs> <laughs> It's really fucking weird looking, man. It's <laughs> Jim Foxworthy. Does it feel good? He's <laughs> <laughs> running around the fucking face. <laughs> hey, fuck what? off my property. Right now. Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off of my yard. Get the fuck off me. Well, I mean, what a mouth. He's <laughs> <It's laughs> right in his crotch. Run the car. What a mild reaction to somebody spraying you with a fucking water hose in the face and dick and tits. I mean, he probably needed it. <laughs> <laughs> he he comes home. twice a month to do this. <laughs> this keeps going. He comes to get watered like a plant. <laughs> oh my god. No. He's going to come back. He wants a little more. <laughs> Well, now he's going to actually oh. water his own plants. Oh, wow. See? Well, he's watering them all. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. Can I just oh, see him get sprayed fuck. in the face one more time? Fuck yeah. I just want to see him get... Because <laughs> he just asked me, he's like, does that feel good? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We, okay. Oh, my God. We you jumped somewhere. Okay. Oh, my enough. God. <laughs> this is too much, man. I mean, this is... Uh, you went to you're too far ahead. Hey, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> Perfect. I like how he dealt with it for a minute. <laughs> he dealt with, he he dealt with it longer anymore. than he held. It. Yeah. He dealt with it longer than where he started. Like was it you know dealing with getting sprayed in the face as a case of like trying to be hard? Like I'm gonna show you this is not affecting me. Or was it that he didn't even notice he was getting sprayed? I think I think this man's extremely. Intoxicated. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think he's beyond drunk. Yeah, he's had a few Capri Suns. <laughs> more, more than one soda pop. His immediate reaction is to just like after getting sprayed in the face for ten seconds and then noticing, he just smashes the side of the wall. His immediate reaction is ten seconds delayed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a delayed immediate. I mean, reaction. seriously, go back. You could go back ten seconds, and I guarantee you, he's just like. Yeah, let's count it. Let's count how long he's getting sprayed <laughs> before he has a reaction. Does that feel good? One, two, three, Mississippi, four, Mississippi, five. <laughs> <laughs> it took him about eight Mississippi before he actually right physically reacted. Yeah, man. Well, that, prayers for Jeff Fox were We hope he does stand. good. Prayers for that farmer's stand. Holy hell. He's fallen far. I thought mine was bad. You know, if we can bring back Blue Collar Comedy Tour or something like that, they'll probably help him get back up on his feet. He's standing in people's yards shirtless and pajama pants, <laughs> and he is extremely drunk. I guess he's not recruiting fifth graders anymore. No, no, those those days are long gone. He's no longer smarter than a fifth grade. Jeff Foxworthy, you are not smarter than a fifth grade. Say, well, I've been drinking. i just been drinking <laughs> bothering my neighbors. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, a drunk, a drunken, like, alcoholic Jeff Foxworthy, <laughs> that would be a, a rough road. It'd be scary. You know, no mind to the actual alcoholic of the blue collar bunch. <laughs> hey, Larry, <laughs> I just want to see if you can go back on tour with me. Jeff. I'm hammered. Jeff. Jeff. Ah, uh, hello. Ever since you've been drinking, Jeff. Larry. What the fuck? Am I George Bush? <laughs> like, Who are is you? Bill Lingvall George Bush? Um, yes. This doesn't follow the Jeff Foxworthy lore, though. Jeff Foxworthy is like. A madman, post-apocalyptic. That's true, yeah. We can't disparage that uh, rendition of him we've already made. Maybe that's what did it. It's a prequel. Yeah. that's what, Yes. It explains why he is the way he is. He makes him pepper, human. He tried peppermint right. schnapps one time, and that was it. Damn, man. Jeff. Fucked his whole world up. Prayers for Jeff, man. Seriously, prayers for Jeff. Um, Hashtag foxes never roam alone. Oh, that, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, too bad Jeff Fox. Too bad that's just some regular guy who nobody cares about. You know, if it was Jeff Foxworthy, a hashtag like that would work. But that guy's probably just gonna rot. Do, do you think the country would come together to 
to get old Jeff back on his feet? That's a great question. How about hashtag worthy Fox? Oh. Instead of Fox worthy. Hashtag Fox is worthy. Fox. There you go. Booyah! Yeah. But is God he? God damn, somebody hire us. Yeah. But is he? That's right. He has to prove it. He has to prove he's worthy. I mean, some people are going to just be just Fox worthy haters. You know? Yeah, that's true. No, if whether whether the situation, regardless of what it is, no matter how horrid, there are going to be people on the internet who talk shit about it. It's in right. the public eye. Yeah, of course. Right. Even if Grandma just died, they'll be like, not to mention Foxworth is a Southern flavor anyway. They'll be like, they'll be like she farted and walked by me once. <laughs> <laughs> so. The end. So fuck her. Basically. So fuck dead grandma, basically. Fuck yeah. grandma. She farted at me once. Yeah. At yeah. Thanksgiving. She couldn't hold it in. She couldn't yeah. go to the bathroom and she farted on my shoulders. She went by and I said, Fuck how, fuck you, old yeah. bitch. I hope you hope you take a dirt nap. But she died a couple <laughs> months later. You know what you know what? I went <laughs> I spat at that funeral. Hell I yeah. said I didn't care none. Yeah. She scuffed my penny loafer. You're, once. hey man. I hold a grudge. I, you don't disrespect me. You're strong, <laughs> man. You're a tough dude. Isn't that what they say? You don't disrespect me. Yeah. All That's the, the, the classic. All of those people are sad inside. <laughs> uh, they agree. You think the, so? If they're smart enough. Dude, they share. It, it, they ain't, though. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Is it the sharing the skulls? Ignorance is bliss. Those, those folks sharing the skull memes. Yes. With respect and yeah. you know, those types of buzzwords attached to them. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. <laughs> Please no steppy. Yeah. Please no steppy on me. Don't tweet on me. Please don't step. Yeah, those people <laughs> who share pictures of like the Grim Reaper riding a Harley and it Yes. Says, the don't Joker. Mess with... That's bad ice, man. <laughs> and yeah. it always says something about how like I'm nice. But don't make me mad. <laughs> yeah, the Joker and Harley Quinn are very popular ones. Too. Yes, that's true. For like ten year olds think is cool, like badass dudes. Yeah, and developmentally delayed twenty five to forty to even well, sixty year olds on Facebook. That's true. <laughs> yeah, there's so, like at least I mean maybe in this region of the world those are a dime a dozen. Yeah. For real, it's like and it's like they all know one another. Oh yeah, it's a community. <laughs> it's a community. <laughs> they all share their. I mean, I guess that makes sense though because it tries to match you. I guess or I mean, it pairs you with people you know and you mm -hmm. you like whatever, right? So obviously they're you all like related. Those people, you're gonna you're always gonna follow the like mindedness. Yeah. Of the people you like, so and you're gonna follow the people who share the type of stuff that you like. Correct. Which is. Satan, fucking Harley Quinn, and on a Harley. And <laughs> I just and went back listen, to the Harley. And Juggalo memes. And Juggalo. <laughs> yeah. That happens. Sometimes. But they probably go to church, too. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, actually. I was getting ready yeah. to take that back. Because right. between all of those Joker, Harley Quinn, Grim Reaper posts are like... Bible verses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Occasionally. Footprints in the sand type shit. That kind yeah. Of thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's sprinkled on there. It's Man. sprinkled in the feed. We we actually had um, an idea for an episode not too long ago. Me and Jimothy planned to just go through some people's Facebooks like that. <laughs> I think that would still be a good episode. It would be. Um, but, you know, after about 15 posts, you just realize it's all the same. Yeah. You just yeah. really need to go through one profile. What's the point, really, you know? Yeah. I just get amazed at how open these people are in front of everyone in a public forum with each yeah. other. I'm constantly amazed at that kind of thing. That's true, too, yeah. Like, I'm I'm talking, like, multiple people just talking in the same comment section about it, just, like, trying to fuck, like, yeah. with each other. Just look at, on the picture. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Get off Facebook. I was um, I was thinking like sharing deeply personal shit like that too. Like I watched my brother get ran over by a train when I was seven. <laughs> then yeah. someone's got to comment and, after that. And you that. just met. <laughs> someone's got to comment after that and be like, oh yeah, do you think that's bad? <laughs> whenever I was four years old, I was diagnosed with throat cancer and I got better from it than whenever I was got six, I got testicular cancer. And then whenever I was 40, I died. But then I came oh, yeah. back, and then I died, and then they paddled me back again. 
you think you had it bad. And now here I am. And now here I am. Spending a majority of every day on Facebook. I'm blind right now, actually. I, I use Braille book. <laughs> Just right now. <laughs> Not Braille always. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Braille book. I don't mean fuck. I guess people that are blind are doomed to never use Facebook. Well, they're not doomed. They're blessed. They are blessed. I feel that, I feel that way. I'm blessed. <laughs> Jimothy is blessed, folks. <laughs> blessed with something. Blessed be Jimothy. <laughs> but no, man, I feel like what it feels like to be Brock. What? With no Facebook. You don't know what it feels like. It's oh. nice. Yeah. I it mean, is. Me too, man. I, don't I mean, I basically don't have one. I have one, but I basically don't. Yeah, the wave of stress and anxiety is gone, man, when you quit checking that shit. In like 10 years. Mm -hmm. To me, it's about like, you know, all of these little things like scrolling social media. Like, it doesn't feel like it takes up a lot of your brain power and a lot of your time. But all it takes is looking at your, like, you know, that little thing in your phone that shows how much time you're spending on apps and stuff. Mm -hmm. All it takes is one look at that to be like, Holy shit. Yeah, it's mind boggling. Why am I putting all of my, like, why am I putting two, even two hours a day, which a lot of people probably spend more than two hours a day on mm -hmm. social media, but how could you spend that doing something that you don't even remember most of the shit you've seen on there? Yeah, it's yeah. just, a, I mean, that, and if it's not, it's if, if anything else, it's just the same exact thing. Yeah. You've yeah. already seen over and over. You're just refreshing it to see the same shit eventually in like two minutes because you scroll it so fast. Yeah. The information's already gone out of your head that you already saw. Yep. Like, wee! What a <laughs> you know, honestly, humans, man, we spend so much time just biding time and please, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Just... Distract we're time. We're distracting ourselves until we die. That's we're literally it. We're distracting getting along. Yeah. 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 We're distracting from death. It's not about like long term goals or like, you know, growth for most people. Really, it's not. It's really about just like passing the time. Yeah. Like, I'm not dead right now, so I could go do something. Yeah. May as well. <laughs> May as well. I mean, <laughs> fuck, what else am I doing? Right. Yeah. I'm not dead yet, I guess. It's more, it's, it's also about like immediate and easy gratification because like i don't know to pick up and play guitar or something mm -hmm. it takes a little bit of effort takes some brain power it's not rewarding in the beginning because you suck and then maybe after you play for a year or so you can play some songs and you feel good but facebook even though it's not as rewarding as being able to play those songs would be mm -hmm. it's easy you just gotta turn your phone on and go bloop and then you have all that shit there and eh, it's all right it distracts me until I go to sleep, you know? I'm going to go to Walmart today, not because I need to do anything. I'm just bored. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm not dead today. Let's go to Walmart. Well, that's, yeah, that's just, uh, <laughs> that's Eastern Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that is. Let's go stand in Walmart for we a while. We don't have anything better to do. That's all that's open. At least it used to be. But then, but then, like, slowly, I guess you kind of get into the argument of, like, I don't know. You can make fun of somebody of going bowling. You know, mm -hmm. like, hey, dude, you're going to die. Why the <laughs> fuck would you bowl when you're going to die? That's the Joe Rogan attitude, I think. <laughs> Every single moment in life has to be about self-progression. Dude, why would you attack somebody for bowling? Fuck you. I mean, I'm just saying, if you shit talk <laughs> people for going to Walmart as something yeah. to do, like, yeah. bowling is same. just, yeah, it's just you something know, to I'm, do, too. Like, I hate Walmart in a, in a lot of ways, you know, for whatever reason, but... It still, it, it definitely gives me like some comfort just knowing that Walmart exists. Yeah. Mm. And what do you mean? Like in what way? Like it's just convenient. S security. I security. I think that and you just, you go to Walmart all your life. So it's just like a thing. Yeah. And they do everything in their power to so, make sure that you feel comfortable. It's all like, there. Like let's play early 2000s. It's all there, man. Music down the aisles. And, and mm. actually... Walmart has started playing music on loudspeakers outside of Walmart coming yeah. into it. You yeah. notice that? You need some mozzarella? Yeah, we got, got it. it. You, oh, need, you yeah. need some Motorola? Man, I we went to it. Dollar General earlier today and I actually got freaked the fuck out because there was a big, they had a big speaker outside of their store now, which I wasn't used to. 
and they were just saying, attention, Dollar, Shop, uh, Dollar General shoppers, if anyone is interested in having a career with Dollar General, please <laughs> proceed inside and ask for an application today. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, have you building heard of- full of fucking brick and mortar, don't you yell at me <laughs> about job opportunities with goddamn Dollar General. Yeah, haven't you heard of the fucking newspaper or social media or something? Is that really... The best way to recruit people for a job is... As, as yell at me and scare me? I just wanted to fucking come in here for dog treats, man. Came here for dog treats and a toothbrush. For my dog, you're... which I appreciate, by the way. Oh, you're very welcome. nice. You are very welcome. Sadie was very appreciative. She, she would eat garbage if you brought that also, though, but treats are nice. I'm going to bring some garbage next time. Do it, man. Bring any kind of garbage you got. Banana pills. Yeah. <laughs> Three-week-old meatloaf. She'll eat it. Yeah. Like old cell phones. Old cell phones. If Tires. It's, if it's got a little bit of meat juice on it, she would eat yeah, it. Yeah. I'll, I'll put some of that on there. For those of you out there, I'm trying my best very much to snatch Kiwi's dog away from him. But that'll never happen. It will I love happen. my dog, and if you ever take my dog, I'll have to murder you. But yeah. you'll never know she's gone. She'll just sneak in my car, oh, bro. Oh, know. No, she I'll won't. know because there will be a void in my heart. I right. mean, well, would you do that to me, your nephew? Would you make Would you make me have a void in my heart for my dog? Come on, Kiwi, missing? think about it. You're You're not an emotional thinker. You're a logical one. But But not when it comes to dogs. That's the only <laughs> element where I give it up. The That's logical, fair. Yeah, that's the only element. Man, where I y'all give- corny. <laughs> When it comes to dogs, I really am. That is the one thing that I'm okay. Like, that's, that's yeah. I'll be corny with dogs. Love you, Sadie. What up? I, I mean, I'm corny with birds, so it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we've actually been going 55 minutes. Yeah. Do you want to end on this guy acting like he's dead on a zip line? <laughs> sure. We could, folks. We're about to watch a visual representation of how I feel on the inside. (laughs) All right. Yeah, hell yeah. This is fun for everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I love that, dude. I just love they swinging above all sorts of people in the public. So, you know, at least a few people in the audience was like, in the audience. Yeah, he, ch- he changed some kids' lives that day. Yeah, that, somebody yeah. went home thinking, yo, I, I saw a, a kid that died on the zip line at the <laughs> yeah. mall, man. They'll never go when on the zip When I was a little boy, again. I never forgot <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Never heard the newspapers mention anything about it, though. I just kind of wondered. Yep. Chucks. Uh, but yeah, I agree. I think that's what we're all like on the inside, is that man was a great representation of it. Yeah. Um, I've, I've got great time to... Steal your dog before I take myself home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to take my fucking God, dog. Dude, I'm going to fucking do it, dog. Okay, he put the mic down, so I'm going too, guys. You should run. Peace out, y'all. Dog's mine. Have a good one. I'm a fucking-